Rush Hour 4 is officially in the works. Everybody is excited. The internet is going nuts. Here, we'll talk about why. Andrew, they've been talking about remaking this movie for a decade now, Ooh. but it set the internet on fire. Kata. Jackie Chan confirmed it, Andrew. Kata. People had all these memes come out. They were getting nostalgic about one, two, and three, even though three was not as well received. People were talking about Asian and black relations. They were talking about the pros, the cons. Is it washed? Is it fire? Let's get into it. All right, let's talk about the cons, David. What could go wrong with a Rush Hour 4 remake? A lot of people were saying the society is too soft and too woke in 2022 to take all of the racial jokes <laughs> or uh, male-female jokes that were in Rush Hour 1, 2, and 3 because they were some bro comedies yeah, for sure. It, it was definitely a bro comedy. I mean, we're talking about this is from 1999, the first one. So, uh, But I think that it is cutting to a rawness and like a feeling that especially a lot of millennials or people that are honestly above the age of 30 are are desiring for again. Because a lot of people, and I'm not saying I fully agree, but there's this sense like, damn, man, they could never make these jokes nowadays, man. They would get canceled, man. We just want to like rag on each other because it really- about, They were two straight cops. Yeah. It's like, that's just not popping no, right and now. And yeah. two dudes, you know, there's obviously the desire for women in the movies, um, and, but but they're just like going hard at each other, like culture, you making Asian jokes, making black jokes. There's fried chicken jokes. There's even, uh, there's like greasy Chinese food jokes. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, so I think a lot of people are going to be like, man, if they don't come back with the racist jokes, I don't even want but to watch I do, it. But I do think that the studio is going to try to hedge because they probably are worried. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. obviously they're not going to bring back yeah. like whatever, it, whatever. It cannot be the same movie. Okay. Um, also, some people are like, man, Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker are just too old and too washed to hold this series Yo, down in 2022. Jackie Chan is 72 years old. Right. And Chris Tucker's in his 50s. Yo, that's... That's old. Jackie's going to actually need a stunt double for this one. Yeah, I think they both have, like, grandkids at this point. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yes, they are old. I'm sure they're going to reintroduce or introduce some new blood in the movie. Maybe, like, a another pairing of a of a different, you know, whatever. Generation, yeah. yeah. Um, some people were saying Rush Hour 3 sucked. Because Rush Hour 1 and 2, people liked them. And Rush Hour 3 in Paris was not good. I, so I had to look into this because I remember the movie not being good. Andrew, what do you is, remember? There was a funny scene with a nun and a translator. There was really one of the best scenes in all three series together. There's also um, a scene about this uh, taxi driver in France. It's pretty funny. Yeah, no, he made some uh, comments about America. I thought that was some interesting insight. Yeah, Rush Hour 3 wasn't as good. But you know what? I think with the refresh team, I don't know. Um, also, people were sick of sequels. They're like, man, why don't we let new directors, new screenwriters, new actors get a chance? And uh, I do feel that because there's too much rebooting IP nowadays because there's less risk involved, yeah, right? I, I could see them, if they make Rush Hour 4, not having Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan only be the two. Like, they're like, make up half the movie and then you have the other new blood and the new team. I could see that making sense. But if, again, if this is the last one they ever plan on making for sure, for sure, then yeah, maybe just... just just utilize both. And we got to get into the pros. People were like, bro, Rush Hour is classic. Dude, class so oh even if God. they bring back four of them, I don't care. I'm here for it. Bro, this is this trilogy made a billion dollars. A billion. Chris Tucker was the highest paid actor in Hollywood at one point because of this film. I mean, this, so wide success, man. Um, people were saying it could potentially help race relations between, uh, you know, different communities, Asian, uh, black community. Yeah, I mean, obviously, guys, one movie is never going to stop any sort of hate, really. But I will say this, David, we grew up during the Rush Hour era, and I remember how many conversations and jokes I shared with random black guys. Now, I do think particularly it hits closer to home for Chinese guys and black guys, you know, because that is specifically what Jackie Chan is. Specifically Cantonese. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they speak a lot of Cantonese in that movie. So I'm saying, like, as a Cantonese Chinese guy, like, I had so many convos oh, man. with people. How and it was such a great way to connect with people, man. It was, it was. And especially people who had very little exposure because not everybody has meaningful interactions with people from another uh, culture. And not only that, it's like sometimes if you're interacting with like an ABC, they don't even fully represent like the culture like Jackie did. Hey, listen, I get it that Jackie is seen as goofy and I get it that if you're not Chinese, being called Jackie Chan is is maybe more of a diss in your opinion. But you have to understand as like a kid whose father is from Hong Kong, where Jackie Chan Who kind is from, of like doesn't not act like Jackie Chan. My dad doesn't not talk like Jackie Chan. Like Kata. 
Like literally, our dad has the same yeah, you know, Hong Kong British Hong accent. Hong Kong British yeah. accent. Um, the legend still got it, Andrew. They'll make sure of it. I do think I agree with this. Dude, people who are pros at making movies, they're going to understand everybody else's like complaints, yeah. whether it was about their age or whatever, and they're going to like figure out a way to work trust, around trust, it and address I, it. I think they can tie in a lot of deep cut stuff, like even Asian hate in there, like a scene about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think they would. And I think that that way it adds a lot of depth to it and doesn't just try to make it like, oh, guys, we're just delivering you the same jokes because, yeah, you're right, that wouldn't be as updated. Which sort of leads us into our recommendation section, Andrew. I do think there's a way to satisfy the old town, like 1980s, 1990s, you know, that 24-hour uh, Nick Nolte, um, uh, uh, Eddie Murphy type crowd that loved that movie and saw Rush Hour as a, uh, as a version of that vein and also satisfy the new people who want new deep-cut jokes, you know? Yeah. They want more of the, the Trevor Noah you know, Russell Peters deep cut racial jokes. Yeah. I think there's a way to do both. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I think that the jokes have to go a little bit more global. Here's some other black and Asian pairings, guys, uh, with martial artists. Donnie Yen and Kevin Hart. Those are A-tier guys. That would be your S-tier version yeah. of like uh, a black Asian pairing. All right, let's start with some other suggestions, not to replace Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker, but in addition to maybe uh, Donnie Yen and Kevin Hart. That would be the S tier pick. I mean, these guys are like gigantic stars. Uh, Simu Liu and Ronnie with DC Young Fly and Chris Rock. That's a lot of comedy right there. Eco Wise and JB Smooth. Ooh, that's the one that people would not be thinking about because yeah. Eco Wise is a more I, of an Indonesian star. I think star. J, JB Smooth has that motor mouth like Chris Tucker. He Hilarious. Really I, I think JB, he might struggle to seem like the serious cop side though because Chris Tucker can kind of do both a little oh, bit. True, true, true. Uh, Tony Ja and Johnny Tree Win paired with Cat Williams and Donnell Rawlings. Dude, man. What was I even just thought of another one. I was just thinking, oh my gosh. Oh, I do think um, so it's not just about having like the Chinese immigrant martial artist and the black American. I think you could flip it, get a black like African guy like a Michael Blackson with an Asian American, like Simu Liu and Michael Blackson. So then Simu is the one that's acculturating the African guy into America, for example. That could be interesting, too. Kind yeah, of flip the script. That could be a flip. It could be a flip. Yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, let us know in the comments down below if any of those pairings sound cool. And let us also know what your favorite scene is from Rush Hour because we're going to play a couple clips that people are reposting. Yeah, I also would like to see this last Rush Hour. I'm assuming it's going to be the last one. They're not going to keep making them and making them and making them forever. That um, I'd love to see them go around the world. I'd love mm. to see them go to, like, maybe even four major continents Dude, in the last one. Just look at how many people are tweeting about this. Thousands and thousands of tweets with thousands and thousands of likes, oh, guys. Oh, Andrew, it one of those going. retweets, I mean, one of those uh, posts on Twitter has like 400,000 likes. All right, guys, I got to break some news to you guys. When it says Rush Hour 4 is, is in works, it doesn't mean the movie is coming out yet. <laughs> uh, they still got to find a director, but the studio and the actors want to do it, so it's good news. All right, you oh, guys, man. let us know in the comments section below what do you guys think about Rush Hour 4? Do you think it's going to be good, bad, or in the middle? And uh, yeah, I think it's a really cool thing and, and what kind of impacts it could have. All right, let's check out some clips. I'm Detective Carter. Do you speak any English? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Oh, that has got to be one of the most famous sayings of the last 20 years, to be honest. Listen, guys, I've, my dad knows that line. My dad does not know any lines out of Goodfellas, The Godfather. My dad knows that line from Chris Tucker in Rush Hour 1. Hey, this is from Rush Hour 3. I don't drive his kind. My kind? Americans, I don't drive Americans. But I'm Chinese. <laughs> yeah, but you're with him. And they're the most violent people on us. Always starting wars, always killing people. Message! I mean, hey, hey, a little burn on America. Okay, this is Chris Tucker speaking Cantonese in Hong Kong. Are they yet time, Moksam? Tomasat yo, man? Actually, he is saying something. Are they yet is like. Womanichi, like, well, we we together will right. go do something. Right. I, I think he asked something uh, lewd, of course, because that's what Jackie told him to say. All right, guys, here's another famous scene. May I help you? We'll be asking the questions, old man. Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. Who are you? I have told you. Are you, you know, deaf? No, you is blind. 
I'm not blind, you blind. That is what I just said. You just said what? I did not say what. I said you. That's what I'm asking you. And you And honestly, overall, as an Asian guy or as a Chinese guy specifically, I thought they represented Chinese people fine. Like yeah. overall. I, I will there say was that jokes. Too. Chinese probably took 70% of the jokes. Yes, I think that there was more Chinese jokes, but that also makes sense because this is still an American movie. But I thought that overall, people walked away, for the most part, with respect yeah, to it. Yeah, I agree, I agree. That I've was, seen way more disrespectful movies, and I think the movies where just one person can kill like 600 ninjas that are yeah. training their whole life is actually, it's more disrespectful. Like, despite some of these stereotypical like jokes, which I'm about to play, honestly, having that many... Asian characters that played all different sides is really what you want right, to see. Serious ones, goofy ones, middle tier ones. Yeah, I've been looking for your sweet and sour chicken ass. <laughs> oh, your boys. Yo, I'm sorry. Yo, I got called Jun Tao so many times in my life. When Chris, when Chris I still, Tucker, said I still got called Jun Tao like within the last year. Easily. But you know what's funny, guys? I just want to be clear: Jun Tao is actually referring to that white British villain. Yeah. It's not the the. But the but nobody Asian cares. Dude. No, nobody knows. They get them mixed up. They call Jun Tao Ken Learn. Ken Learn is the is the actual fighter in this. Uh, all right, last clip. This is a good one. This is one still probably relevant. Budget. Okay. Damn, Chin, some greasy shit. You ain't got no better food, like some chicken wings, some baby back ribs, some fries or something? Chinese food, no soul food here. I didn't say nothing about no soul food. I said you got some better food. I don't want that greasy shit. How you gonna sell a big box of grease? Yo, you know what's I'm so not... funny? I can tell Chris Tucker ad libbed those lines. Right, right. The right. amount of times that he said greasy, you probably wouldn't write a script to say greasy three times in a scene. But I could tell Chris, they let Chris Tucker run with it. And, and, and it's and funny too, because the guy's like, Mom, which is like, I don't know what the hell you're saying. He's like, what, 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 IMG what? IMG what? I think that Chris Tucker trying to speak Chinese, he has this one scene, I don't think we have the clip, but uh, when he's on the plane where he's like saying, uh, Mgoi, shit. <laughs> All right, I just got to play one line from this one. This is where uh, Chris Tucker thinks Jackie Chan's going to get some with this girl. Right, but the girl actually him. tries to kill Jackie Chan. Right. Oh. Oh. Come on, Crouchy Tiger, don't hide that dragon. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man. Yo, that is actually a really funny scene because it's mixing A-level tier action in the scene where she's throwing the knives against Jackie Chan with just some, like, goofy-ass humor on the back end. Guys, let us know if you are looking forward to Rush Hour 4 or any other ideas for it. Also, let us know your favorite scene and if you thought that it really did help at least some black and Asian relations at the time, which... Uh, I think it's a great talking point for it. I'm bullish on it. I'll, I'm bullish. I'm bullish. Make All sure right, you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.